much warning did people in Chelyabinsk have? None. Paul Chodis is a scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. He and his boss, Don Yeomans, have been trying to track near-Earth objects for decades. We didn't see it coming. Uh, it was coming from the general direction of the sun, so it was in the daytime sky as it approached. So how did you find out about it? Twitter and YouTube uh, when, we, when we first saw the images. So the first people at NASA heard about it was Twitter? <laughs> exactly. The meteor that rocketed into Russia really got our attention a few weeks back. We learned today about the threat of such things to our modern world. In the meteor and asteroid tracking business, they call the big ones city killers. And while there was very little good news today about our chances of getting them before they get us, there was some talk about future remedies. Our report tonight from NBC's Stephanie Gosk. Last month, the meteor rocketed into the atmosphere and exploded over Russia, frightening because the shockwave blew out windows and injured 1,200 people. It came out of the sun. It came from a direction where our telescopes could not look. Today at a hearing on Capitol Hill, leading space scientists told lawmakers the U.S. is not prepared to defend itself against meteors of the same size. If you detected uh, even a small one, uh, like the one that uh, detonated in, in, in Russia, um, headed for New York City in three weeks. What would we do? The answer to you is if it's coming in three weeks, uh, pray. Scientists say they have identified all asteroids large enough to wipe out the planet, like the one suspected of killing off the dinosaurs, and there is no immediate risk. The concern is meteors that are smaller, but still big enough to take out a city. The number of undetected potential city killers is, uh, is very large. It's in the range of uh, 10,000 or more. The probability of impact is low, they say, but at present funding levels, NASA believes it will take almost 20 years to identify them all. What would help is an infrared telescope. The government won't pay for one, but a former astronaut is looking to build the first ever privately funded deep space telescope. NASA is collaborating on the project, but the space agency says it still needs more money to identify and develop ways to protect the planet. A good segment of the population thinks it's just a matter of call Bruce Willis in, you know, and, and you know, notwithstanding we don't have a shuttle anymore. Pass it! Hollywood's version is definitely a bit dramatic, but scientists say there is reason to be concerned. The meteor in Russia was like a shot across the bow. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News. CBS News contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at City University of New York. Welcome. Glad to be on. What do we expect to come out of these hearings? Well, everything's on the table. Intercepting an asteroid, blowing it up, deflecting it. It's going to be like Buck Rogers meets the United States Congress. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a no-brainer that what they need first is an early warning system, a space telescope that can detect an asteroid from a distance because it would only cost a few hundred million dollars. That's chump change compared to, like, a stealth bomber. And realize the threat is real. You know, in Russia, if that asteroid had held intact for a few more seconds, it would have hit the ground with a force of 20 Hiroshima bombs. Casualties would have been the, the two events of Friday, February 15th, the harmless flyby of asteroid 2012 DA-14 and the not-so-harmless impact of a meteor in Russia are a stark reminder of the need to invest in space science. Reading from Dr. Holdren's um, testimony, says, uh, quote, depending on its com composition and velocity, an asteroid of 140 meters in diameter could have an impact energy in the range of 50 to 500 megatons of TNT equivalent and would be capable of causing destruction over a large region. Describe with greater detail what you mean by a, quote, large region, end quote. The, um, the size you're talking about, 140 meters, and you've got the numbers exactly right, uh, could, um, could devastate uh, the better part of a continent. The only fortunate thing is that the estimated frequency with which objects of that size strike the Earth is about 1 in 20,000 years. The one that hit uh, Russia uh, hit Russia, there's no question about that, and that's about all we know about it. Uh, why didn't we know that was coming, that it was in we, the we, air, we, or on its way? It, it came out of the sun. 
Congressman Hall. It, it came from a direction where our telescopes could not look. We cannot look into the sun. Well, we can't and, make that determination and, as to where it's going to come from. We ought to be able to do something no matter where it comes from. If it's going to hit the earth. The most important single thing we could do to improve our capacity uh, to see any asteroid of potentially damaging size uh, coming would be an orbiting infrared telescope of the sort that the B612 Foundation no, thank you. working on. I'll show you what shoes to wear, how to fix your hair, everything that really has to be popular. I know all about popular. It's popularity, bitch. I know all about popular. Where this say that. Let me tell you about the popular plan. Kicking rocks, shooting blocks, just to run from the man. Like an ostrich with his head in the sand. Puffy making a band. Wu-Te making a clan. Let me tell you about the popular man. Running streets with his peeps just to open a can. The major plan is to gain all the fans. Mass pollute the demand. Perpetrating the land. Popularity, popularity begins like this. The clothes, the hair, and colorful lips. Would you believe the popularity used to be shit? It used to not matter how much flow you could spit. It used to not matter if your pants was ripped. It used to not matter how big is your click. All that really used to matter is that you're fully legit. But all that matters now is how big is your dick. I know about popular. It's popularity, bitch. I know about popular. Where it is, say that. Popular does it even exist? Is life to end up on a list to get pissed? Decide not to take it more and ball up your fist? I'd rather be kissed by osteoporosis than end up on a list of people permanently pissed. The train to all the riches, I must have just missed. The paths I should have taken are gone with the mist. None of the shit matters. Popularity hits. They don't think about the mother in the brain with We kind of wanted to clean this image up a little bit and uh, not have the common look funny. So, uh, <laughs> There's no hocus pocus here, really, because of course the comet doesn't really look like what I'm showing right now. There's no hocus pocus here, really, because of course the comet doesn't really look like what I'm showing right now, right? Because of course the comet doesn't really look like what I'm showing right now, right? Think about the mother in the brain with their kids. They don't care about the kids laying dead with their friends. Needing blood or syringe, a gurney gauze and some meds. And a real good surgeon to remove all the lead. Now next you need a lawyer to help you defend. They're taking all your money and then in the end, you're hoping that they let your broke ass join in. Join in. It's popularity, bitch. Say this, wear that. I know about popular, and so to sum it all up, the popularity shit. They can all eat a dick, a pick up, swallow, and spit. So they know how to flash it to get under your skin. And I'ma show them how much I can do with a pin. I'ma show everyone just how they begin. I'ma keep pushing hits till they pulling me in. So I can roll in a bin. Clown until I don't know which town that I'm in. Bitch, I can't wait for popularity's game. Live in the city of sin. Call me out, I'm gay. Say what, where, and when. I put you under a spin. Like fish, we're missing a fin. A dog caged in a pen. Ten minutes heart in a bin. So haters keep on hating, cause my girl is a ten. Standing on the walls of something ready to end. Like popularity was even real to begin. Who thought I'd have to sell my soul to get right in? It is said, the comet always precedes them, these world enders. The coal sack planets are gone, eight million settlers missing. 
The entire Aquilin system is gone too. Helium Prime shares its sunlight with all worlds nearby. If we fall, they fall. And after that, my God, how do I save my family? Have you heard anything I've said? Said it's all circling the drain, the whole universe. Right? That's right. Had to end sometime. Sir, this just doesn't make sense. The comet made a turn. A turn? Yeah. Look, it just completely shifted its orbit. Give me Rover 2 on screen 1. Rotate all cameras 90 degrees positive. First Earthlings to see the effects will be in Newfoundland or Newfoundland. Uh, uh, hey, where have you been? You're gonna miss everything. It's the start. Oh, kids! I'll never marry another man with kids. In 1910, Haley's Comet returned. And everybody thought they were going to die then. <laughs> What's that? 